everyone, my name is Ashish and I welcome you to my YouTube channel Destination Hopper for the first time ever. As you can see on the title, this is my first ever vlog and today I would like to share my experience with you travel to Sikkim during winters. Well, I'm from Bangalore and I made this travel from my native Siliguri with my brother Dheeraj on his R3. So basically we went to north and east on his bike and it was quite incredible. And now I would like to show you how we planned this journey. So the map you saw just now, we followed exactly the same. We started from Siliguri and we rode to Gangtok and we stayed there for a night at our aunt's place and the very next morning we went to home department to get our permits done for the bike and uh, it took around uh, 8 hours, 7 to 8 hours to get the permit and in the evening we got it. Towards the period, unfortunately I didn't get the permit to ride in that particular region because of the army protected areas and my brother was riding. After getting all the permits done, we started our journey on the very next morning to La Chain. So it took around 7 to 8 hours to reach La Chain and we reached there around 7.30 in the evening and we found a hotel and that was very expensive I must say. So after reaching the hotel, we decided to have our dinner quickly so that we can get up early in the morning because we were so tired and also we were very excited to see Gorodumma Lake. We literally couldn't get proper sleep but still we managed to get at least two to three hours of sleep. We woke up at four and we started our ride to Gorudumar and it was pitch dark at that point of time and temperature was freezing. Our hands got numb and feet were frozen. Gorudumar is 70 kilometers away from Lachin but it took us five hours to reach Gorudumar Lake and trust me roads were horrible. Actually there was no roads. We were riding on the mud slush stone and ice. We reached Gorudumar at 10.30 to 11 and trust me the view was impeccable. I was literally blown away with the landscape at the altitude of 17,800 feet. It was quite amazing and you have to be there to witness such. And on the very same day we had to return back to Gantok because we had our next ride to Ace. So we didn't spend much time but whatever time we spent at Guru Dumba, it was quite amazing. So we managed reaching Gantok and we rode total 320-30 kilometers in the entire day. We reached Gantok at around 8.30 pm and we crashed. We woke up in the morning, we had a good sleep and it was day 5 for us. We had to go to tourism office to collect our permits to ride to east and our journey was including Changu Lake, Rasgulla Pass, Baba Mandir, Zuluk and we reached Nathang Valley and in Nathang Valley we stayed at Nathang Residency. The people hosting us were very very sweet. We were having homestay there and it was completely given to us and the most amazing part was we were welcomed by snow. So literally there was snowfall and it was early winter there and we were very lucky to witness snowfall in the evening. We had a good cup of tea and my brother was enjoying equally as I did. It was quite fascinating at that point of time. After having amazing evening at Nathang Valley, we had our dinner and we crashed. And finally, it was day 6, the last day of our journey. We had to cover the old silk route, the mighty old silk route, which was famous for the Indo-China trade back then. Well, we had a very good time at old silk route and we were descending down to Zuluk and uh, after that it was no fun. So. We, we took around 5-6 hours from there to reach Siliguri and it was 6.37 at night. We reached Siliguri and it was amazing experience overall and we were done with all 6 days we had. And it was too good. We cannot forget this. It was incredible time. The experience, the adventure, whatever we had in those 6 days were incredible. And trust me guys, this is one of the beautiful places which I have ever came across in my life and the video will not do that much justice to it but it is amazing to watch. So now I'll leave you guys with the entire experience of my journey and literally I had no intention to vlog at that point of time. However, I managed getting some video clips and which I have merged together. I hope you guys enjoy it. There you go.
finally we are visiting a snowball here in Kupup height 70,300 feet of sea level and temperature gonna be minus 5 to 10 degrees Celsius most probably and with a Maggie hot Maggie I'm giving you guys a room tour. This is our bike. This is our room. One bed here. Another one is here. There's a mirror. I'll say hi. This is our wash. Bathroom looks quite decent and neat. And this is the wash basin. I'll show you how many layers we have here. One, two, three, and four. So this will keep us warm for the night. I hope you enjoyed the entire video if you are still watching me so far and in future I am going to get a lot of travel and lifestyle videos for you. Do like the video and show me some love towards my first step and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And do share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit the bell icon to get the notification as soon as I upload them. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, love yourself and keep hopping.